made military records from 1350 almost up to present day. So we have about 10 million records on our site. We're adding about 200,000 new records to that every single month. So we have experts in badges, World War I, World War II, whatever happens to be. Our record search begins with historical documents, digital enhancements, and the National Archives. Our highly trained teams provide accurate and coordinated information for our database. What makes us unique is that all our data is entered here in the UK. Once a record has been added to the database, it is not forgotten, as any available information that comes to light is added. If you'd like to delve into your military ancestors, please don't hesitate to visit us at our website. Do you have a military ancestor in your family? Do you wish to leave a lasting message of remembrance to them? Forces War Records, the specialist military website, has created a wall of remembrance where you can leave a lasting dedication for your ancestor, whether they died in service or survived the hardships of conflict. The wall will allow you to post a lasting message of remembrance for family members who fought in battle, as well as finding long lost ancestors who served in the military. Here's how it works. Visit Forces War Records website and select Dedication Wall from the menu. Upload your photograph and dedication by clicking the link Upload Your Dedication here. Next, fill in your ancestor's name and their military details, for example service, rank, any medals they were awarded and so on. Then write a short message of remembrance and once you're happy with the content, simply click Upload Dedication. Once approved, your dedication will be published on the Forces War Records website and it couldn't be easier to share with friends or family using the dedicated social media links. Visit the Forces War Records dedication wall today and let those who come after see that these people be honoured and their hardships not forgotten. Have you ever wondered where your military ancestor was at specific times during World War I? Forces War Records may well hold the answer in our new World War I Troop Movements interactive map. Orders of battle documents produced by the military show the hierarchical structure, command, organisation and disposition of units for particular engagements of the British military. Forces War Records has painstakingly transcribed official orders of battle documents to create a fully interactive map available exclusively via our website. Follow your ancestors' footsteps while listening to the in-depth and highly detailed commentary. Learn what happened where and when with this fascinating exclusive feature from Forces War Records. We'll help you delve into your military ancestors' past. Main service records of your ancestor from 1921 onwards will not be online until at least 2019. However, if they were wounded, killed in action, awarded a gallantry medal or mentioned in dispatches, we may have their record in our collections. Around 70% of World War I records were destroyed in the Blitz, but you can still look at our medal rolls and regimental records. War clerks offer misspelt names, so try reversing first name and surname, or variations on the spelling. If they were hospitalised in World War I, you can search our exclusive hospital records. We have now uploaded one million. Meeting with the Forces War Records have helped me out greatly, and uh, I will be meeting them again. This is, we think, a kin of mine, but we're not sure. It's a soldier that was in the First World War, that's his picture. And that's the death pack that we've got. All right. So again, yeah, you have the victory medal. So that was awarded to all soldiers of the Great War. And again, I'm not sure if you noticed here, yeah, you yes, have all the details where I got, on there. That's where I got some of the information from looking right. on, the, on the edge of the medals. Okay, this one, yeah, is the 1914-1915 star. Again, you must have served overseas to be awarded this. And again, yeah, you have the British War Medal there. A lovely example, it's in great condition. Now we've seen these wonderful medals and everything, we can now search our records to see if we have the information for you. So Harry Strip, um, search for record types, World War One. Oh, 
straight away. Oh, wow. It didn't take long to find at all, actually. So obviously there's not many with actual surname there. No. So normally for World War One, you get quite a fair few results. You can see here, yeah, Harry Strip, Rank Lutz, Corporal, and the year of that actual record was 1916. Again, we'll review his record here. Yeah, we have his date of death here, the 14th of the 7th, 1916, and his service number here, 14418 which should be on the back yeah, of the medals so as well. Yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah. Again, yes, you can see he was awarded the Victory Medal and the British War Medal. Yes. And he was yeah, King Shropshire Light Infantry. We can see here, and if we scroll down the page, it should give us more information about his record to say, yeah, he was actually in the 7th Battalion, yeah. so yeah. commemorated in France. So we can see from our records, yes, the 7th Battalion, that's yeah, it was a service formed, battalion. It was, I think that we found that, I think it was, it was sort of formed for the war, I think. Cause was, uh, yes, it's part of K3, which is yeah. Kitchener's 3rd Army, so it's his 3rd, Kitchener, which is yeah, his 3rd uh, Army, so new recruits there would have started in Shrewsbury and moved to Codford there, well, going to Salisbury Plain. Yes. So this will show you some of the movements yeah. actually off the division, of where, you know, oh, where he started his life. Um, Again, from the record, we can see he fought in the 7th Battalion during yeah. World War One. Uh, and if we look at the date of his death, we see that was 1916. So if we look what they were doing around about 1916, again, yes, at this particular time, yeah, they were actually on their way to the front. So going to the Western Front there and taking part in many battles there, Battle of Albert. Yeah, that was 1917, 1917 it? onwards. But yeah, so he was, he was already dead by then. Yeah, he's gone through his basic training and everything, so yeah. gone over to the Western Front and shortly afterwards lost his life, so yeah. it looks like he was one of the first ones to actually oh, lose We'll his have life to pull that up on the net when yeah. we get home and, that, and uh, get a print of it to put with yeah. these. At least we found a little bit more about it. Well, thank you very much for bringing it. Thank you very much. Lovely to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.